The Medieval Party from 2008 was one of Club Penguin's early epic parties. It was a great party, and I want to talk about the music from it. But I also want to talk about the party itself just a little bit. And to do that properly, I need to start right back from the beginning in 2005. So, before I talk about the Medieval Party, let's do a brief history of why Club Penguin parties came to be in the first place. As strange as it might sound, monthly parties weren't in the original plan for Club Penguin. I mean, sure, we were going to celebrate Christmas and, and big events, but the idea of having a unique party every month, no matter what, that wasn't in the original plan. So why did we do that? Well, um, the very first party that we had was the beta test party, uh, September 2005. And we didn't have that party because we were interested in celebrating. I mean, that was a good thing. But our real reason for doing the beta test party was just to test server load. We wanted to stuff as many people into Club Penguin at one time as we could to test the servers and make sure they wouldn't crash when there was a whole bunch of people in a world or even a whole bunch of people in a single room, which is why the beta test party was one room, the main town where everybody logged in and everybody loaded, and we, we needed to test whether or not that worked. When 60 penguins were walking around that room and the room wasn't crashing, we knew that we'd be able to handle at least some stress poured at the servers. Club Penguin launched in October, and of course we were going to celebrate Halloween, and of course we were going to celebrate Christmas, and after seeing the response of penguins from September's beta test party, Halloween, Christmas, we started realizing that it created a nice rhythm. You'd have the highs of a party, and you'd have the lows of just regular Club Penguin life. Once we realized that parties were going to be a pretty huge hit, we, as the original creative team of Club Penguin, started making this big list of what kinds of parties do we think should be in the world. You could have a sports party, or a pirate party, or a summer party, or an April Fool's party. The list itself was about 12 to 15 things that we thought would be good party experiences. And we did most of them in 2006 and early 2007. But one of the things on the list was medieval party. And everyone on the creative team agreed that medieval party was something that could be epic. It could be amazing if we had enough people to do it. If we had enough artists, if we had enough programmers, we could make something awesome that spanned the entire Club Penguin world. We didn't have that in 2006. So, unlike most of the parties on the list, we decided that the medieval party had to wait until we were ready. By the time 2008 rolled around, we had a much larger staff and we had a lot of very creative artists who had their own spins on what sort of things should appear in a medieval party. And we had the time and resources to do them all.
single party unique. For one thing, as far as I know, it's the first party where I was permitted to compose three unique songs for the party. Up until then, it had always been one or two. It's also the first party where I used a similar theme between songs. This is sometimes called a leitmotif in composing. It's when you hear the same melody played in different ways to remind you about the same uh, event. This happens in movies, this happens in TV shows, and it does happen in video games. In this case, the, the leitmotif, the theme of the uh, medieval party, was this. That was from the song that you just heard, and that song also carried over to the forest theme. Uh, this was the, uh, the, the forest, uh, if you went into the member-only room, the treetops, this was what was playing there. Um, instead of doing 4-4 four, four time, I wanted this to have more of a playful, sprightly sort of uh, feel, so it was in 6-8 time. songs, the leap motif that I was talking about, appeared again three years later. Now by this time, the medieval party had appeared in 2008, but also in 2009, which is the first time that the Knight's Quest happened. It appeared in 2010 with a second Knight's Quest. Both of those parties, I was able to create new music for those, and it was exciting. But in 2011, after I had left Club Penguin but was still making music for them, I was contacted and asked to make some music for the third and final most epic legendary knight's quest that was going to end with a three-headed hydra. It was great! Um, and for that, because I believed that this was going to be the last biggest expansion to the medieval party, I decided it was time to revisit the same theme that I did for 2008 bring it into 2011, but put a bit of a twist on it, because now it's more of a sneaky theme where you are going through dungeons uh, on your way to meet a massive who-knows-what kind of monster. To pull that change in theme off, I decided to use a sneaky musical trick. I have my keyboard set to a regular piano sound to demonstrate the original medieval party melody. To change that up into something sneakier, first of all, one nice way of heightening tension is just changing up the key. So I moved it up a tone. Next, I took a cue from the left hand. The left hand is the uh, bass line, the foundation of the song. So instead of having E major, B minor, 
over and over again. I flipped it so it was E minor, B major. This is the dominant chord for the song. The song is in the key of E minor. So when I start doing this, it changes the mood of the song to some, from something happy to something a little bit mysterious, bittersweet, possibly sad, possibly suspicious. Of course, you have to change the uh, uh, right hand to match. So uh, the melody changed from to this. So here's the whole thing put together. From there I could go into something more sinister, and of course it sounds even better when the proper instrumentation is there, but that's basically the uh, the way that I turned the medieval party theme into something sounding a little bit more evil. some of you saying, hey, you showed us two of the songs from the original 2008 Medieval Party, but you didn't show us the third one. Okay, fair. The third song from the original Medieval Party did not have that same theme in it, so I wanted to save it until last. You'll get to hear it now. Um, but before we go to that, I just want to say thank you for watching this video. If you've gotten this far, it means that you really like Club Penguin music, and I appreciate that. A special thanks to everyone on Twitter who voted for this song. Um, I'm going to probably be doing a Halloween-themed one next, and then after that, we're going to go to the box dimension. So that should be fun. Um, thanks for watching, and hope you learned something. <laughs>